fishermen, not to the tax collector, not to the sinners. Doesn't, miracles don't happen for them. And Peter stepped out and said, uh, they do. And this is why I'm here. I'm here to profess and proclaim the gospel of Christ. And as hard as I try to find a different gospel, the only one I've come across in those four books is the gospel of love. So the Holy Spirit has fallen on Emmanuel in powerful, powerful ways. Father Paul had the gifts of the Spirit. He could lay hands on people and they'd fall over, slayed in the Spirit. And that went on for, I don't know, 10, 15 years, longer maybe. There are a lot of people listening today that, that ha- know that story and were there. There were some that were converted because Paul was so audacious in his being filled with the Holy Spirit and pouring it out on people. And then Rob came, and then Paul retired, and then Lynn Lynn came. And then there was a different way that the Holy Spirit was, was working at Emmanuel and in the world through Emmanuel. And that was the love, that was the love and the healing that Lynn and Rob blessed so many people with. And they encouraged people to come. And the people who came were the brokenhearted. The people who came were the ones who's, who, who were suffering loss and grief and, and didn't know what was happening, felt broken, felt, in, felt that in despair and loss. And for a really long time, 20 years, 27 years, I think, a long time, um, That was how the Holy Spirit played out in the lives of the leaders and people of Emmanuel. So now we're in a different age. (laughs) And uh, the Holy Spirit dropped in your lap a uh, foul-mouthed, mouth like a truck driver, divorced three times, runaway, high school dropout, alcoholic, drug addict, in recovery, tattooed, a priest. And we've spent this last year, it's been a year, I think today, it's June June 2nd is my anniversary date. And so I think it's this Sunday, even though it wasn't Pentecost. Um, And so we've spent this year getting to know each other. We've spent this year discerning Uh, our new call, whatever that is, and we still don't know. We have experienced in our sanctuary the falling of the Holy Spirit over all of us. We have cried, we have sang, we have laughed, we have danced this last year. And for me, it's a privilege and it's an honor. And oftentimes, I don't feel up to the task. And that's what I felt this week. And and people have said to me, it's a really hard time to be a priest. And I said, yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, I know what it's like to have faith in hard times. I know what it's like to, uh, to feel hopeless and still be hopeful. I know what it's like to have a tremendous amount of faith in the goodness of people when all around me, I don't see that. So the Holy Spirit comes upon us now in a new world. I can't impress enough upon us that everything is changing and we can change along with it as individuals, as a community, as a world, or we can stay behind and not relish in the gifts of what the newness brings. We are brothers and sisters of the Christian faith. And if there isn't anything about the Christian faith, the greatest gift is resurrection. 
The greatest gift is the relationship that God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit have because out of that relationship comes love. And love is the only thing that is going to repair what is broken about our hearts, about our communities, about our world, about our governments, about our health system, about our education system. Because love means that no matter the color of your skin, no matter your educational background, no matter your socioeconomic status, no matter your gender or your sexuality, you are a human being created from God, you are stardust. And inside my stardust, the love of God that is in me loves you so desperately and needs you because this is not a journey that we can take by ourselves. So right now it feels like we're alone because we're all in our different houses. But we're never alone because the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit gets through cracks and windows and doors. The Holy Spirit comes in at the most desperate times, at the most joyful times, at the most destructive times. When there is no hope, the Holy Spirit comes. So may we live in the hope of the Holy Spirit. May we channel the love that the Holy Spirit pours over us into the world. May we be at this time like no other time. The hands, the feet, the eyes, and the heart of Jesus. Amen.